What's up everyone, Ryan here, and today I'm going to provide a full where to start beginner's guide for the new EA Sports PGA Tour game. I've been receiving a lot of questions on the channel, and I'm going to cover the best ways you can gain experience, get reward coins, so that you can improve your golfer and improve your clubs in this game. Because the game does not have the best onboarding process or tutorial process, uh, so that's what we're going to do today. I will also cover bonus tips throughout uh, because this game does not have a driving range, unfortunately, or anything like that. But if you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And I will be doing a full tutorial series for this game on all aspects of it. So stay tuned for that. I'll have a link in the description to the full tutorial playlist. If you're looking for them, it could be that I had the full series already live. So let's go ahead and start here. So we, after you load up the game, you create your golfer the best place to actually start is in the challenge section so in the challenge section is where you can actually find the tutorial in this game uh, so the tutorial in this game is in the coaching academy within the challenge section so there are 180 different stars you can earn there's not 180 different challenges but 180 different stars so in the coaching academy you have pga coaching the trackman skills trainer and pga coach skills trainer the best place to start is right in the PGA coaching. You'll have three different challenge sequences in here with multiple challenges throughout. But each time you complete the sequence, you're going to get rewards. And even throughout, when you complete portions of the sequence, you're going to unlock reward packs. So you can see at the top right, the basic challenges earn stars in the sequence to unlock these reward packs. So you're going to get a experience boost from just completing this challenge, you, you can see this 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. That is so much experience. You gain experience in this game. That's how you level up and that's how you unlock skill points to actually improve your golfer. So experience is key early on in this game and not only early on, but throughout. So what I recommend is work your way through these challenges and they're going to go over the basics. You're going to have adjust for the wind shots, elevation, lie, and also make sure you read the descriptions because they do give some helpful tips, although not a lot, but you do get some helpful tips throughout. So make sure you read the descriptions. But what I would recommend when you're going through these, really pay attention to how the wind is affecting the ball. Pay attention to how the elevation is affecting the ball. I would be doing full tutorials for all aspects of the game and a full kind of beginning beginner's guide on the wind elevation lie and everything like that in the future but these challenges are a great way to get a feel for the mechanics of the game so you will have three criteria to complete on each specific challenge so you want to make sure you actually three star all the challenges within a sequence to unlock all the rewards for that sequence so then you're going to run through and you're going to be doing this you're going to complete them. you're going to be like i'm not getting any experience you're going to back out to the main menu you'll check the top right you're like i've done all the challenges but you're going to be like i got all these rewards but you back out to the menu and you'll notice in the top right that your level hasn't went up and that is because you have to open your rewards so they come in the form of reward packs so at the top of the screen here typically you're only going to see play store golfer quest and settings up there but every time you have a reward in this game you're going to have a new tab up there called rewards so in that tab that is where you're going to find the rewards for the challenges you complete and then all you do is have to hit hit A on the Xbox controller or X on the PlayStation controller to open it and collect your rewards. What I recommend doing is actually collecting your rewards as you go. And then after you level up quite a bit, you unlock a lot of skill points. So skill points are shown at the top right. You have the four currencies there. You have the reward points, which are to the very right. You get by playing the game. You have the premium currency, which you get those by if you had the deluxe edition, which is why I have some, or you buy them with real money. And then you have the plus octagon shape that's your skill points that is the skill points currency so that's how you know how many skill points you have each time you level up you're going to get two more skill points to improve your golf so what i recommend when you're going through these challenges they're not easy now you can complete the challenges on any difficulty you can play on arcade the easiest difficulty in the game and complete them but you can also choose whatever difficulty you want but as you gain rewards go ahead and level up your golfer what i recommend is to make sure you do focus 
a little bit on power. It goes a long way. The first thing I did was three power because power makes a big difference throughout this game. The second areas I focus on, which specifically help in the challenges, are approach accuracy, short game accuracy, approach control, and short game control. And also one, one skill that gets left behind a lot is putting. And you can see my putting is level four right now. But one thing you'll notice when you putt, your, your tempo really matters and your distance control matters. And when you miss off tempo, if your putting's not good, those misses are going to be bigger. So if you're really missing a lot of putts, a lot of times that is because your putting stat is a little bit lower. So do not forget putting and it will help you in the challenges in the coaching academy that are specifically for putting. That's how I recommend kind of to focus on first. I will be doing a full deep dive into the skills and my player equipment and everything like that in a future video so it could be in the playlist in the description right now or it could be coming at a later date depending on when you're watching this but go through all those coaching academy challenges do as many as you can try to three star them you're going to get tons of experience rewards you're probably going to move up 20 levels and get 40 skill points just by doing those challenges and you can move on to other challenges because all the challenges give you experience and some of them give you reward points Reward points are key in this game to unlocking new club specs and club specs are the way to further boost your player's stats. You see at the bottom right of the screen there, it shows my skills. The bright yellow is just the stat skill boost from my skills. The dark yellow is actually showing my equipment boost. A common mistake that new players are making I've seen this reported tons on YouTube comments and also during my live streams that people are going into the store and they're spending their reward points on the equipment section for new clubs. Because intuitively, a lot of people think, well, if I buy new clubs, they're going to give me better stats. These clubs are cosmetic only. So the Titleist driver, the Paradigm driver, all of these are only cosmetic changes. These do not give you any equipment boost. You actually get your equipment boost in the store in the spec section. So this is where you can buy different specs of different rarity. So each spec has a different rarity. So the legendary specs are going to give you more stat boost versus the epic, which is the one level below that. Then you have rare and uncommon. So basically you want to save all your reward points you're getting from completing challenges. You're going to want to save them to where you can buy the legendary specs. Now there are club specs and ball specs as well so you can see in the shop right now we have jordan speed's ball spec the pro specs give the biggest stat boost yes they may not do a specific one like the legendary iron that spec is specifically for recovery shots but this jordan speed ball spec 18,000, but it gives a lot of stat boost we can see this it gives 63 power 61 accuracy 65 control and 78 recovery that's on top of what your skills already are but even better than that which is no longer in the store right now but it will probably it seems like they cycle in and out so we have dustin johnson's wood spec so this is just for the woods in the game it gives you good power actually control and recovery boost so you can actually click on each one but what i wanted to show you is really how the boost can be huge on these club specs so if we go into my golfer this is actually where you're going to go in and apply your equipment uh, so when you go into your golf bag, you're going to select whichever club you want to put a spec on. And then you're going to hit RB or R1 to go over to the club specs. This is how you apply them. The club spec I have right now is the Hideki Matsuyama's iron spec. This iron spec is amazing. You can see it not a lot of power, but that doesn't matter as much on irons. But what it does increase 84% accuracy, 90 control, 78 recovery. Well, what does that mean? out of the default clubs so that is a 33 boost to power a 59 boost to accuracy a 65 boost to control and a 53 boost to recovery on top of the base club spec and on top of my already skills that i have on my golfer so my golfer is 81 overall right now but with the club specs that i currently have his overall is 89 so you will not be able to max out your golf for 100%. There are 50 levels in this game and you'll have 100 skill points to spend, but you can respec them at any time, but you will not be able to max out, but you can further increase your stats by getting club specs. So that's why it's so important 
to save your reward points and spin them on club specs versus i know hey you can hey, spend your reward points on your what clothes clubs cosmetics but i would recommend getting the club specs first because those are the ones that are actually going to affect the gameplay so you've done the challenges so now we're going to move on to the mode that you should be playing each and every day to really maximize your reward points because not only are you going to gain experience but you're going to get reward points that you can spend on club specs and club specs are expensive and they're also key to improving your skills in this game so you're going to want to go to the tournament section every single day because you have two free tournaments that you can play in you have the four holes launch special and four holes arcade now these will probably change over time they may add more a few of them may go away but at this point in time the way the tournaments run is they start every morning after 9 a.m eastern standard time the tournament runs till 8 p.m eastern standard time that night and there's an hour of processing time and after that hour of processing you're going to get your reward but also after that hour of processing the next tournament starts for that day at 9 p.m eastern standard time and then you have until the next morning at 8 a.m. to play your rounds. So you could technically play four daily tournaments for free every single day and you get four different rewards. So based on how you perform in these tournaments, you can see the right bottom right of the screen there. Top zero to 10% is considered the winner. You get a winner pack. Top 10% to 25 is world rank. Top 25% to 50 is elite rank. Top 50 to 75 is rank and top 75 to 100 is miss rank. Now each tournament will have a little different criteria there, but the beauty of this is that even if you play it and come in last, you're still getting rewards. For the launch special, you're still getting 1,500 rewards points if you come in last. You're getting 4,000 if you come in first. So if you get in that top percent and you're playing well, you're gonna get so many rewards each and every single day. Now what's important to keep in mind here these are not only free, you have unlimited tries and it takes your best score. So you could keep playing these until you post a score you're comfortable with and you get better rewards. Now the arcade specific tournament compared to the launch special, you get less rewards. So if you come in last place, you're only going to get 100 reward points. But if you win, you're going to get 1500. And if you play in four a day, you can start to see how the rewards are going to pile up. And these rewards again appear in the rewards section at the main menu and that's how you actually redeem them. So if you're really good and you win four tournaments in one day, you could get well over 10,000 reward points a day if you're playing really well. Now, if they end up taking out the launch special and don't replace it with another one, yes, the reward's going to be less each day. But you also have the pro four hole pro dailies and the, the tour nine hole tour dailies. Now, these do have an entry fee of reward points. But keep in mind, if you play the launch special, even if you come in last, you're getting 1500. So you're gonna get this back even if you come in last place because you're gonna get 1500. So you could still enter this one. The difference in the bottom two, you don't get reward points. You do if you come in last, but you get what's what are called tickets. And tickets are the entry fees to weekly and seasonal tournaments. So based on how you perform in the tour nine hoes or four hoes pro, you will get a different amount of tickets. So of course, if you win, you're gonna get much higher, such as 10 or five. So you could technically get like 25 tickets in one day or even more if you, or 30 tickets in one day if you play really well. The reason the tickets are gonna be important is because the season, the weekly tournament rewards are huge. So this is where you're gonna find some big payouts, especially if you come in the top 5% of the tour weekly. Because if we take a look at the tour weekly, if you come in the top percent, not only are you gonna get an epic wood spec, you're also going to get 25,000 reward points. But even if you come in last in that one, you're still getting a thousand, which I know doesn't replenish the 10 tickets that you lost, but at least you're getting something. I like that the better you play, you're getting more rewards, but the rewards are huge here. Another thing that's important to keep in mind, you have the seasonal tournaments as well. So these are other entry free tournaments with big payouts. We look at the all 18 tour that runs for 31 days at this point in time, 80,000 reward points. So I do think it is important to play at least one of the entry fee daily tournaments because you're gonna start getting tickets. Because tickets in this game, you only get from these two tournaments, 
the pro dailies or tour dailies, or you can buy them in the store with the in-game reward points. They're pricey. I would not recommend you spending your reward points here, though. You can also buy the premium points, which you get if you have the deluxe edition of the game. You, that's why I have 4,500 there. But that's the in-game actually premium currency you have to buy with real money. So there doesn't seem to be really a need to do that. But the reason I could say that you may spend your reward points on these, say you get to the final day of the seasonal tournament and you have you don't have any tickets, but you want to play it. You can spend your reward points then and that way you can still put up a score and you reap some of the benefits of it. So there you have it. After you've done the challenge, the coaching academy challenges, you've done the daily tournaments for that day, then everything you do in this game, you're getting experience, whether it's the career mode and you're completing quest in the career mode. As you complete quest in the career mode, you're actually going to get reward packs that you need to open in the main menu. So be on the lookout for that because you get a lot of experience just by playing the rounds in the career mode. But when you win tournaments and make cuts, you're going to get reward points. And those are key in buying the club specs so that you improve your equipment and get further equipment boost. So basically anything you play in this game, you're getting experience. 18 holes of golf, you can get over 19,000 experience and you can level up pretty quickly, especially if you go through the challenges first and not only going through the coaching challenges, but playing through some of the other challenges. They're a lot of fun and they give you quite a bit of experience. So now you know the best place to start to improve your golfer and gain experience and also gain reward points so that you can upgrade your golf clubs in ea pga tour if you all have any questions or have any other tips that you've been doing feel free to leave them in a comment down below because it could be helpful to someone else i will also be breaking down everything about this game including golfer skills gameplay putting chipping you name it so be on the lookout for those videos as well click on the playlist in the description for my gameplay tutorials it could be that the full series is already live or if you're watching this close to launch i'm not done with the full series yet i have plenty more videos coming so stay tuned appreciate each and every one of you all if y'all got some enjoyment drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe for more and if y'all didn't know this i have a second channel we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers over there here's early this year so link in the description to that gamer ability to get on over there be a part of that as we are so close to our goal of a thousand but I will see you all in the next one. I have plenty more EA PGA Tour gameplay videos on the channel, including a full career mode series and also live stream this game. Link in the bottom of the description to that. But I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.